So Barbara, tell me a little bit about how your chest has been in the past six months. In the past six months, my chest had been getting increasingly worse. Uh, I've been becoming more breathless, producing more mucus, having um, been generally restricted. I couldn't do as much, and I was no, I, it was getting that much, so much so that I was noticing that I was planning how I did things so that I could manage. Um, for example, going up and down stairs, which you run up and down stairs normally, um, or wouldn't even think about it. I would sort of have to go up and then sort of have a bit of a breath at the top and recover, and then um, and tiredness. And because of the recurrent chest infections that I was getting, um, one sign that I have is sleepiness. I get very sleepy, very drowsy when I've got an infection. And again, I was more and more drowsy, um, just feeling generally under the weather. And um, but the mucus and the coughing was the main problem. Just trying, and, and obviously the infection. So because mucus and coughing and fatigue were a big problem, we decided to help you with your chest clearance therapies. Right. Um, we did that through two ways. We started you off on a, a nebulizer called hypertonic saline and we did the, a challenge to that in clinic mm -hmm. which you passed well your lungs were happy to take on the treatment and there was no adverse effects when we did the test dose and you started doing that at home how often were you doing that um two three times a day then mostly twice a day more recently because i've had such a good result and my chest is generally clear. I don't even in the morning because normally in the morning I would always, always cough. Um, but because after the treatment now, I barely cough up anything. At the moment, I'm on once a day. Fabulous. So hypertonic saline works by increasing the tonicity or the salt levels of um, the mucus in the airways and that helps move water across the airways which then helps the cells um, move better and also hydrates the phlegm to make it move a little more easily. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to chest clearance techniques, for, as a physio point of view, particularly if you're like Barbara and have fatigue, mm -hmm. we want to make sure that your chest clearance is as energy efficient as possible mm -hmm. so that when you do clear your chest you can get up the stairs and not be too tired or do some activities. And so we started you on a little device, this is the OPEP or flutter device. That's right. And tell me a little bit about how you feel that the PEP device has worked for you. It's worked very well because it's so simple. And I think once you understand that you are clearing the base of your lungs and your lungs, because I'm improving, again, I feel as though I'm breathing more deeply and getting to the base. And when I used it initially, it really did clear my lungs. But then as I've gone on and it's been more and more successful and I've improved, I'm getting less and less production. So as I say at the moment, I've got none at all, which is, for, well I can say for years, I've, not, I've always had something on my lungs. I've always been able to cough and produce some mucus. So with establishing this regular maintenance That's right. therapy, you've managed to yes. clear your chest yes. efficiently and now we're maintaining it in a more clear fashion more regularly that's it and it's i just got into the pattern of doing it and i think because that's part of my i do it i thought if i'm going to do it i'm going to do it properly so i did and it has really worked fabulous so the opep is one of several airway clearance devices or adjuncts that physios can use or prescribe to help patients clear their chest this one in particular works that when you blow into the device it causes back pressure into the lungs which splints open the small airways. Mm -hmm. As Barbara mentioned, it helps clear the mucus from her bases, um, and that helps her by splinting open the smaller airways, which were prone to wheezing or narrowing and collapsing when you were doing huffing and coughing That's procedures. Right. That then traps the sputum, so you're huffing and coughing against a shut airway, which is a waste of energy, and like we said, when you're repeat repeatedly having infections, huffing and coughing is a very high energy expenditure for a low gain 
when you're not getting yeah. any phlegm up and out. So this is an, uh, one of the other ways that we can help improve and make your airway clearance more effective mm -hmm. and help keep that energy levels for the things that we want to do and live in life, which is what physio is all about. Yeah, it's wonderful. Fabulous. Thank you for chatting to us about your treatment, Barbara. Oh, you very well. What would you say to anyone that, uh, from a physio point of view, would be considering taking on some of these new treatments or something different for them? Take it and do it because I can't believe the difference it's made to me um, and to my family because they can see the difference in there. But just normal things like going shopping, being able to go walk around the shops, and just general or everyday things. Um, and with this one, because there's not a lot of drugs, or it's just so simple and very easy to use, and it's, I'm just so thrilled, really. Fabulous. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much.